appreciate y'all having me, man. Salute, salute, salute. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Tell these niggas. Lights out, you hoes is chasing clout. Your baby mom gives me mouth, put it in, then I'm out. I'm someone you shouldn't doubt. I love overcoming adversity. Going for the kill, first degree, yes, certainly. One more day. Back to the paper chasing, I pop the AK. These bullets love racing. I've been the same nigga since the last time you saw me. Been the same nigga since I needed a car. See that life, man, I'm about that. Addicted to animated till I give him this knee. Please don't get me started, my nigga. I'm cold. Hearted did it go from dear Stewie to dearly departed. Niggas say they go stupid, but I'm really retarded. Whether you had or the racks, know the bills be the target. You kids be so garbage. I'm talking like a landfill. Tenure card, super dope, man. It was a it was a dope experience. Even though we only got three of the five battles, it was a very very dope experience. But yeah, man, uh, dope, dope, 
dope battles, dope battles, and it's unfortunate that uh, certs and ten ten couldn't happen. Definitely wanted to see that battle, uh, but with certs and ten ten specifically, I know certs had the certs couldn't make it for whatever apparent reason. Salute to him. Hopefully that man is everything is all right in that man's life. Period. Um, but once again, shout out to my Dallas Cowboys. We gon' hey, we gonna kick Jaguars ass. Then we gonna get ready for the Eagles. Anyways, don't hate on me. Don't hate on me if you're in a Dallas Cowboys fan. But anyways, um, definitely wanted that battle to happen, but uh, didn't ha- did not happen. The next battle, Diverse versus Benny Lowe. See, we are gonna talk about this on the Northwest Takeover this Tuesday. So make sure y'all tune in. Um, Diverse versus Benny Lowe was supposed to happen. It did not happen. Why? Benny Lowe came all the way from fucking Arizona. Came all the way from AZ. You feel me? To come battle. And I guess Diverse was a no call, no show. I think that's unacceptable. I don't want to jump out the window and go super crazy on him right now because I don't know if it's something personal or whatnot. But if it's a business arrangement, you got to step up and say, you, you got to step up call somebody and like let somebody know yo i can't make it something something happened or something you ain't gotta even gotta be specific but even search did it earlier that day you know and i hope uh, everything is all right with diverse but that to me that was very unprofessional now motherfuckers ain't gonna want to book you period and now you're gonna be stuck on the ulb scene doing the ulb shit opposed to all the leagues wanting to fuck with you especially when all the league owners from the bigger leagues or the big leagues are there in the northwest and you're not showing up that's not a good look that's not a good look but i'm a hey like i said i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go crazy right now because i don't know the particulars but you gotta check in and say something because that like yo my nigga came all the way down from another from from another state came all the way up from another state that's not cool it's not cool at all but anyways uh uh k philosophy versus mt money oh this was a goodie this was a goodie i was proud mt very proud man mt made me proud but k philosophy was nice too it was very nice um first round first round uh mt goes crazy mt goes crazy hey 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 facts he was going crazy uh k philosophy first round to me was mid it was mid it was like this you feel me it was parkinson's that's what they call it parkinson's um no disrespect to my peoples out there who really got parkinson's but it was very mid mt got the first round clear second round second round k philosophy came to play that second round I know the crowd wasn't really trying to rock with him and all of that shit, but that nigga is lyrical. He can rap. He can rap and he rap. I was feeling what he was saying. In the small room, he would probably got more more love. If it was like a, if it was more of a confined with like five, six people in the circle, old school cipher, he would have got that. His second round was he though. Yeah, his second round was fucking fire. And that and that that round is debatable to me. That round is very very debatable to me. Um, but I, I got I got MT still edging that round. I got him edging that round. Uh, so I had him 2-0 going into the third. The third round, well, MT in the second round were fucking crazy. And I want to say a bar because, you know, I don't know any babysitters. All I knew is to keep the doors locked. That's all I know. MT don't do them like that. Ah! Nigga. Nigga. That fucking bar right there. I wish that was on like a URL stage or some shit. I wish that type of bar was like on a big ass stage. I guarantee you, you would have had two thousand people fucking going crazy with that bar. That's how. That's how he that fire that bar was. But um, yeah. Uh, MT second round was fucking dope again. It, um, his, I think his first round was better, but his second round was still nice. Um, but yeah, I, I had MT still edging that second round on Cam. I might have K philosophy. I might have K philosophy. Because listening, being on stage, the energy, MT clearly had the energy. And he had the bars. But K philosophy had some bars that were super intricate that I liked as, as well and I heard. But uh, I edged MT. I edged MT that second round. Third round, um, K philosophy was more, he was, he was still on fire to me. He was still on fire. He was still on fucking fire to me. He was rapidly rap, but MT third was fucking crazy too. <laughs> so all in all, 
quick recap. I got MT with the Gentleman's 30 on the first watch. It wasn't a body, but it was a Gentleman's 30. And that's what the fuck I'm talking about, MT. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Rise to the occasion. Make niggas respect your history and, re- and respect your legend. That's how you do it. These out-of-towner niggas come in here trying to talk all that shit to rap. And no disrespect to him, but these out-of-towners come out trying to, oh, I'm going to take over this and take over that. Nah, hey, nigga, 30. You, you don't, don't two want a nigga, 30 a nigga that's some out-of-town. That's what you're supposed to do. Shout out to the Northwest MTS K, uh, K Philosophy. Good work. Good work. Um, this next battle is fucking, it's a battle of the year candidate. Jay, the Nightwing versus Young Nate. Jay versus Nate was one of the ones. If you wasn't in the building, I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You better, y'all better put pressure on Colin to have that nigga try to like hurry up and drop that battle. Y'all better put pressure on Colin to make him drop that battle because this is one of the ones. And it was and and and, I, and people want to call it an upset, but I don't even call it an upset because Nate 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 is is, is a legend too. He's great. He's fucking great. And then if you threw, throw longevity in there. Nate was killing back then, and he's still killing in 2022, more than 2023. What do you call that? That's fucking phenomenal. And I'm not saying that just because he my brethren or no for a takeover. Nah, nah, nah. We're not biased because, you know, I be telling Nate when I feel like he lost, and I tell him when I feel like he won. He get mad at me. He get mad at me and get in his feelings, but he get over it, though. <laughs> but anyways, um... When it comes to this particular battle, Jay first round was fucking crazy. Jay left Earth in his first round. He left Earth. Um, with him starting it off and going first. In your own city looking real rattled. You say he only uses slogans in his Bitch, this a real battle. still cracking. Skull crack sound like an open field cactus. I'm in a circle like the dog from the little rascal. I'm still battling. I got the side is a key statement. He left his own city behind. Fuck a trail, his bridges he's blazing. He not even blazing. That's great. I But Jay was somewhere else. You look Jay in his face. His eyes were black. He got a little personal. He was talking to Nate in that first round. But this is when the tables turn, my friend. This is when the tables turn, my friend. The second round. <laughs> Nate was fucking cooking in that second and that third round. I, I fucks with Jay. But Jay got into the look. He tried to take the approach of, uh, I want to joke and he joke. I'm going to joke. Hey, you short man. You this. You super short. If you stood on BAs. If you should have stood on BA shoulders, you would be three foot eight. <laughs> he was in there freestyling. It was dope. Jay, Jay, that was dope. But Nate, when he when he started talking that real talk, and it ain't just about rapidly rap bars, bars, and he starts really he starts really barring you and angling you away. Nate did that in the second and the third. I think that and on some real shit, I think Jay won the first round clear. I do. I think he won the first round clear. But I think Nate, off the first watch, Nate won that second and that third clear to me. Clear. Well, I'm going to say he won the third round clear. Second round might have been close, but nah, fuck that. I'm going to keep it 100. Yo, I think Nate won the second and third clear. First watch. First watch. He was talking to Jay. He was talking to Jay. Jay was, Jay, Jay had some moments. He had some moments, but nah, like you, if, if you put both, if you put both, um, um, if you put both materials close, to, like like side by side with each other, you got the jokes, and then you got that direct. I'm talking, fucking to your soul, and I felt like Jay was talking to Nate's soul in the first. But Nate was talking to Jay's soul in the second and the third. Jay even said, he was like, man, you trying to fuck up my image. <laughs> you trying to ruin my image. <laughs> when you talk about a nigga when he first started, like how you were here, the nigga wore goggles, and how you did this, and how you did that, and this, that, this, that, nigga. Nigga. But shout out to Jay. Shout out to 
uh, Nate. This was a battle that was needed. And I wish a lot of y'all motherfuckers, I know everybody got lives and shit. But when it comes to the battle rap region, I need y'all to start showing up to events and supporting. Please support because y'all don't know, y'all don't understand how monumental this battle was for the culture of the Northwest. Like this is a battle of the year cont uh, can uh, uh, contender to me. Because even though one got this round, the other got whatever rounds, nigga, like this shit was fucking what it was. And in order for us to fucking move forward as a fucking culture, when we have battles like this, we can't just say, oh, I'm going to fuck with one league. Fuck with all the leagues, man. Fuck with all the leagues. Let's get this fucking culture back in our Northwest like we're supposed to. Let's support everybody, bro. Everybody. Olympia and most of a lot of niggas, a lot of y'all niggas stay in Tacoma. I fucking stay in fucking Bellevue. I stay in fucking Bellevue. That took me an hour and a half. A lot of y'all niggas stay in Tacoma or the surrounding areas or south uh, south, uh, south Seattle, nigga. Come on, that ain't that deep. Come on, man. Support. Support. Anyway, I'm not going to harp on that. Uh, Battle of the Year candidate, Nate and Jay. But last but not least, we have Heretic versus Patron. This battle, I'm going to have to watch again. I'm going to have to watch again. Um, after the first watch, it looked like I kind of had like, um, this is a very debatable battle. This was a good back and forth. Um, I want to say first round, first round I gave the Patron. I gave Patron the first round. Second round, debatable. But I, I gave that second round to, um, to, to Heretic. Third round, I might have gave that to Heretic too. But the second round, is it comes to me, Heretic won the third round clear. The second round, it comes down to the second round. I don't know who won that second round, y'all. But I got to watch it again. I got to watch this shit again because both of them were talking crazy to each other. I wish they would have gotten, I wish they would have got nasty with it where they were just talking fucking reckless to each other. Like, nigga, you a hoe. Nigga, get the fuck out of here. Nigga, remember you stole my lunch money back in high school, nigga? I wish they would have got into some personal crazy shit like that, but I know they homies. I know they homies, and I know homies, they, they, they were kind of, they were light. They were light versus each other, though. They were light. I am going to say that. They were light versus each other, but still a solid battle. Still a solid battle. So that's a 2-1 either way. I can't pick. I can't really pick. I Like, I, I would say Patron. Might have won the first two rounds. Patron probably won the first two rounds. And Colin won the third. I mean, Heretic won the third. But then again, I think about that second. That second was close to me. Vent, you feel me? One, it's one issue that we're going to talk about that I didn't like during Nate's round. When somebody somebody was like yelling through his rounds and talking crazy and shit. And I'm not going to be subliminal because I got love for this person. But we got to talk about it. I didn't like that. Show everybody respect, man. Show everybody. Don't be talking through niggas rounds, talking crazy and reckless, screaming. Ah, rah, 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 rah. Nah, we ain't like. We ain't doing that. Nah, man. We respectable. If you gonna be respectable to majority of the uh, all the battle rappers, be respectful to everybody. Be respectful to everybody. Cause I love, I love these people, man. I love this sport. I love this sport, man. But you gotta show love to everybody. And you got people though, you got people that were on stage that were like um one particular person was like talking shit while the other person was rapping, but he but when the other person said some fire shit, he was giving it up. He was like, That was fire. That was fire. When a nigga said something like he was like, nah, that wasn't good. It's okay. <laughs> you gotta be you gotta be able to do that. You gotta be able to do that. You know? And like I said, I ain't beef with nobody because this is fucking battle rap. But at the end of the day, we trying to grow the culture, man. Show love to everybody, but when you're showing love to everybody, you got to keep it real. You got to keep it real. If you think they lost, let the niggas know you think they lost, you think they won, let them, think you, let, let them know. But it can't be no fucking hate in your heart when you say that shit, though. No hate in your heart. But anyways, um, what the fuck time is it? Oh, shit. It's 10-11 and being on the West Coast and my Dallas Cowboys are playing the Jaguars. I got to get to this game. But, uh, yeah. Uh, shout out to uh, Heretic, shout out to Kelly, shout out to Lindsay, shout out to the whole 4MCs, my MCs um, uh, 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 team. They did well. I like the event. I know it was three battles, but, yo, it is what it is. It happens. But dope three battles. 
Uh, shout out to Random Idiot. I got I got a chance to actually meet my guy sent to in person. Dude is a cool dude. Make sure y'all represent. I don't have my uh, shit that I uh, that I bought from him um, or whatnot, but make sure y'all go to Random Idiot net and go represent and go show love if you can if you can if not then go to his page and, and share his shit or whatnot share his content but anyways peace and love get your bars up northwest takeover we're gonna go in depth about all of this shit and guess what it's gonna be multiple different perspectives so make sure y'all tune in tuesday around like nine between 9 30 number 9 45 9 45 10 o'clock tune in get your bars up media northwest takeover everybody gonna talk that shit i'm trying to tell you it's gonna be one of them shows it's gonna be one of them ones because we got a lot to shit to unpack we might have to send motherfuckers up out of the culture but anyways peace and love y'all <laughs>